Hibbs kicking up the slope on a very cold and blustery evening in Edinburgh. But at least the wind is a drying one, and that should help the pitch, which was Guy Gluey on Saturday for the Aberdeen game. Very important game for both clubs, of course. And I would think that uh, you could calculate this game as a four-pointer for either side. Ray right behind it. Strikes me the wind is blowing right across the pitch. I don't think any side is a distinct advantage at this moment. Well, that wasn't a bad ball. He's a great chance. Oh, dear, oh, dear. McKinley should have put that away. Why the hesitation? That's a case of deliberation destroying the effort. Poor consolation, corner kick to be taken by Cammy Fraser. Oh, that's off the line almost. Ray in the way. A bigger pardon. It was Rice. Rice who played so well in the sweeping position on Saturday. I think he's going to make a name for himself in that particular role. There's a good break by him. And that is Turnbull. The move peters out. The doctor have done something better than that. Driving it on to Duncan. Again, the wind seemed to be pushing it towards us. Shannon playing in the right back position, although he's winning number seven. Fraser, that goes out to Duncan. Tumble. Duncan Kane. The very neat dapper game against Aberdeen. The key, that was a good tackle. The knee breaking in numbers. Neat ball inside and swept away. McKinley can't pick it up. And number 10, Harris, who made the tackle and broke away, is the boy who scored in exactly one minute against Rangers last Saturday. And there is the Hibs fullback, Kevin McKee, suffering from that knock. With Tom McNibbon, the physiotherapist. I think I should point out to you that this game was initially abandoned. It was fogged off after 23 minutes, so Hibbs very generously have opened the gates tonight. Everybody is in free. Not the BBC, of course, but everybody else is. And a very good crowd to stand up. Well, I would have thought it was a foul, so it's a brilliant move by Yevon. Oh, beautiful touch by the Hibbs striker. I don't think anybody in the game could have done that any better, turning like that. Good balance, control, control, and then the final shot. Ray, and it's a goal kick. Darting after it, there's McDonald, brought down, free kick. Youngster Paul Kane running right across him. Well, the Edinburgh public certainly have responded to this uh, open gate night. Very good crowd in now. Oh, nice little ball over Walker McCall. He delays a bit again, but he's done it. McCall has opened the scoring. Exactly 20 minutes gone, one nothing. With the hips defense flying extremely flat. That little ball right over the head. The 
Paul running all on, I thought just for a second he might have delayed too long, but then he pops it away from Ray. That's Shadler. Jemison going for it. Tumbo. And I think a free kick is indirect. The foot was up. And somebody has complained about it. Well, there you are. Cammy Fraser, the referee, I think being very generous. Ray takes it. Well, not a bad effort. Really was uh, quite far out for that kind of shot, but if there had been any dip in it, and sometimes they can get that, if they control it well, it would have provided uh, a lot of trouble to Kelly. A call looking very powerful, and that's a free kick for him. And McKee wanted to take it quickly. Have been trying to lay it off, Jimison. Trying to get that out to the outside. Sneddon has it. Urban chases in after it. Must be yes. King. What all? Well, that was a very good follow-up. 29 minutes. And the first half gone. And uh, Sneddon caused all the problems, getting it on the right. That very tantalizing ball. The goalkeeper, not surprisingly, finding it difficult. And good finishing by 18-year-old Paul Kane. One of the youngsters who have given such a new complexion to this hip team. Jemison. That's a free kick, and that will be Magiki off. If he's getting a booking here, he'll be off. He's already been booked. George Magiki marching towards the referee with Tammy Fraser. And already the head crowd are chanting, Chirio, Chirio. Two bookings, and off will go. Geeky. The need reduced to 10 men. Well, the Geeky is off and was beginning to get the feeling that this game was getting very rowdy, some rather reckless tackling. Hope it doesn't get worse. Well, there's a good header, brilliantly put in by Jemison. 2-1. Oh, as simple as you like. And a disastrous minute for Dundee. The sending off and then that free kick as the consequence floating right to the head of Jemison and Pat Stanton's ploy of putting the big man up front pays off in that one sweet moment. 33 minutes of this first half gone. Of the kind. 
very far removed from that, been quite exhilarating. Some reckless play, and that has been uh, obviously punished by Mr. Alexander, but some very good play too with that opening goal. There's uh, McCall, Walker McCall, picking it up beautifully and putting Dundee at that stage in a deserved lead. But then the fight back. Hibs have waited so long to score that goal, 592 minutes to be exact, before they uh, put the ball in the net since the last time and Kane got the credit. And then that excellent header by Jimmerson. And of course, with Hibs playing against 10 men, you'd put a stack of money on them to get the two points now. An uphill struggle for Dundee in more ways than one, with uh, Hibs now having the advantage of the extra man and their favorite slope. And the wind is whipping up, as we can tell from the tarpaulin above our heads. Well, there's a checking off there for McKinley, and Dundee had better watch. Already a man off. And uh, McDonald booked as well. I won by Sneddon, Kelly. Eyes glued on it as it came towards him. The Dia may say in the opening 20 minutes looked good. Played some swift attacking football, looked infinitely more dangerous than Hibbs. Back it goes to Kelly. Left away by Shadler. because Arthur isn't renowned for a right-footed finish of any great menace. That's a free kick. And it's to Dundee. with the ball because he realized that uh, Sneddon would be offside. Evan. The return ball. Evan lacking a little bit of support there. Penalty kick. Bobby Glenn, you can hardly believe it, but the referee has given the penalty kick. seen much worse tackles going totally unpunished but the referee is very close to it so Willie Evan on the verge of scoring his 21st goal and he does from the spot with five minutes of this second half gone 3-1 back and will be to take it and down goes Campbell. Nice 
Slip little ball there by Harris. McKinley, that's a better run. Wants to lay it off, and he does. Ferguson now with a great chance. And good goalkeeping. Oh, Ferguson. Goalkeeper after him. And there's a corner. <laughs> Full credit to Robin Ray. I mean, he ended up with a full bag away in the side there. And drawn right out of his goal. That's all he could do, really. Had to commit himself. Not a bad ball. McCall almost there. Cuts out by Ray. Joe Kick. He loves doing it, Devon. And that's touched over by Kelly. Deceptive ball indeed. And that came from the short, subging run of the young fullback again. Second goal with a deflection that almost deceived the Dundee defence. Nothing else. 